Hello everyone, my name is Scott and I'm a member of the Popbox team. In this video we're going to cover adding network shares and content to your Popbox. The first thing we want to do is press the home button on the remote. When you press the home button, the home bar will appear. This is how you navigate between your media library, the app center, search, and settings. For now we'll go over to settings on the far right. In the settings menu you can change a lot of things. Most people will want to go into the audio video menu and change those settings to match their home theater. For now though, I want to cover network shares. Let's go to the media library section on the left here. In this section we can control a few things. The first is the scan interval. This determines how often the box scans your directories for new content to add to the media library. The default is 1200 seconds or 20 minutes. We'll leave that alone. The next section of the screen is the media library directories. When we use the term media library, we're talking about all your content that you have allowed the box to scan and download information for. If you don't add the directories to this box, they will not show up in the movies, TV shows, home movies, music, or photos categories. We'll go over this some more in a bit. For now, you can see that the USB drive I added in the first time user experience has been added to the list. This next area is where you add network shares. If you store your content on a computer, a network attached storage device, or a server, then this is where you add them. We'll go ahead and add a couple of shares now to demonstrate the process. Please note that you will need to set up the shares on your computer, which will not be covered in this video. We have created some simple walkthrough guides and posted them on the support section of our website. Please refer to them if you need any help with setting up your computer. To add a share, we'll go ahead and select the Add Network Shares button. There are two ways to add a network share. The first is to use the network browser. We'll go ahead and select the network browser button now. When you do this, you should get a list of work groups on your network. In our example, we'll go ahead and select Popbox. Depending on how your shares are set up, you might not see your storage device listed here. Luckily for us, our NAS is listed, so I will go ahead and highlight it and then press the right arrow. This brings us to a list of shares on the device. My content is on the media share, so I will go ahead and select that. Once you select a share, you will be taken back to the network share form. The device name and the share name will be added to the appropriate fields. If I needed to add a username and password to access the share, I would do so now. I don't need one for this share, so I'll go down to the Add button and select it. When I select the Add button, I get a message in the bottom telling me my settings have been saved, followed up by another message saying I'm being redirected back to the Media Library page. Now if you notice, my network share shows up in the box on the bottom. This means the share has been added. If I didn't see my storage device or share listed in the network browser, I can add it manually. To do so, I will select the Add Network Share button. The first item we can select is the protocol. By default, Windows uses Samba. If you're on a Mac and you followed our guide, you should have set the share up using Samba as well. We also support NFS, but to use that would require an NFS server. This is usually an option found on a network attached storage device or server. However, you can install third-party applications on your desktop as well. Next, we'll scroll down to the IP or host name of the device field. Here we can put in the name of the computer or NAS. If you have set a static IP, you can enter that here as well. My computer is Scott T61. This next field is the share name. On a Mac, it's the same name as the folder, so no confusion there. On a Windows PC, though, you can actually name the share whatever you want, so make sure you're using the correct information. For this example, I went ahead and shared a folder called Test and named it the same. For this computer, I need a username and password. I'll go ahead and enter that information in now. Now I'll just go down and select the Add button. Again, you'll see the Save Confirmation and Redirect dialogs. Back on this screen, you'll see that our second share has been added. At this point, I recommend verifying that your share is set up properly. You can do this by pressing the Home button and going to Media Library on the left. Once this loads, go down to USB Network on the bottom left and you should see your network shares and attached USB drives. If we select Scott T61 Test, we should get a list of files that are in the share. If you see a message saying no content found, then there's either a typo in the information you entered or you have a security issue blocking access to your share. 
Recheck your security settings on your computer and try deleting and re-adding the share again. Since we verified that the share is indeed working, we'll go ahead and add this to our media library. So let's go back to settings and then to the media library section. Now we select the add media button. A list will come up showing us all of our USB drives and network shares. You can select the entire entry or browse into a specific folder. Once you select the folder, you will see it added to the list. The scanner will now read the file names and go out to the internet to pull cover art and metadata for the best possible matches on IMDB. That covers adding network shares and content to your media library. Thanks for your time.